It's Andy here, and yes, that TikTok video by a user named Ariel discloses how American Airlines lost her two cats in mid-route somehow from Los Angeles to New York. Scary, frightening, and we're here to tell you how that happened. I spent weeks and weeks up all night trying to figure out what the best way to do this was, and it, there is no good option to get your cats across country. Like, there just really isn't. So yeah, as we said, Ariel had no other way to really transport her cats. I mean, she had to put them through cargo, which is really hard also as any pet owner to do that. But the route from LA to New York is not short. It's like five, six hours at times. So it's pretty long. Ariel posted her initial video to TikTok, which has since gained 3.1 million views and thousands of comments concerning her cats and offering support to Ariel throughout the whole ordeal. And so many asked her to explain what actually happened. Graciously, Ariel posted a three-part TikTok series about really what happened, how she got her cats back, somehow, yes, luckily, she got her cats back. She first explained her moving situation from LA to New York City and how she really felt that her best option to create the least amount of stress for her two cats was to move them via air travel and, well, this means obviously putting them in cargo. And if you're like many of us and you've never had to do this, flying your pets in cargo means placing them in a climate-controlled, pressurized compartment below the aircraft cabin. Here, they're kept separate from the luggage and the other cargo on board. And if you're lucky, your pet may be on the same flight as you. In most cases, in other scenarios, you may not be on the same flight as your pet. So you have to pick them up at a later time than when you actually land. So I was flying Delta and I tried to get them on the same plane as me, but not all planes are equipped to have animals in them. And all the flights with Delta within the week I was flying had a 14 hour layover. I'm not gonna do that to my cats, that's ridiculous. So I looked at, I contacted United and American. United said we're not taking pets and cargo right now and American did, so that was my option. And right as I'm about to take off, like right as they say, put, please put your phone in airplane mode, I get a text saying, that my cat's flight had been delayed from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then I get another one a minute later saying 2.30, and then another one saying 3. But to ease the tensions a little, American Airlines sent Ariel a confirmation email with the terminal to pick up her cats and the time to do so, which sounded pretty good in theory. But it all turned a big turn for the worse when Ariel showed up, and it wasn't even an airline terminal for American Airlines. Like, where did you send these cats to? So I race over to Terminal 8. I find it. At this point, I've been trying to find them for like 45 minutes. Finally, I get there, I walk up to the guy, I'm like, hey, I'm here to pick up my two cats. And he's like, we don't have any cats. He spent the next two hours calling everyone, being like, do you know where the cats are? Do you know where the cats are? And everyone's like, no, we don't know where the cats are. And they weren't showing up on the tracking that they gave me because the flight was canceled and I didn't update or something. So he tells me PPS has them. I'm like, they're probably dead. It's been an hour, they're still not here. Like, what is going on? and um eventually he brings them out and a lot of the comments online are people explaining number one it's american airlines fault for missing the cats in the first place or part two it's your fault for putting your cats in cargo you pick one person comments how about instead of getting mad for her flying with her pets we get mad at the people who lost them while being responsible for their safety Another one said, this is unacceptable and so sad. Always take your animals with you at all times. This airline really can't be trusted. But the reality is it's really hard to fly with our furry friends, especially in times like COVID-19. This comment says, do people not realize we don't get to choose to have our pets in cargo? The airline forces them to be put there. Pretty much sums it up. And yes, the size of your pet really is determining whether or not they're being put in cargo. And there's more restrictions on airlines of how you can actually transport your pets. And according to USA Today, three of the four largest US airlines, Delta, United, and Southwest, all are not even accepted crated animals as cargo. So in the end, really, I don't think it's her fault. I mean, she tried to do her best, unless you really wanna go a 42 hour car ride to transport your cats across the country. Pick the lesser of the two. But unfortunately, this is the reality a lot of people face when putting their pets in cargo. Let us know your thoughts at what's trending. Let me know at Andy Luani. Hopefully this doesn't happen to anyone else. Or if you have a story, also let us know. Maybe you had something similar happen. For more social media news, head to See you later.